What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another quick video. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you how you can fix the washed out look in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 where there's a serious lack of colors and everything's all washed out and white. Usually this has to do with your in-game brightness settings not matching your monitor. Though a lot of the time if you lower this too much, it'll get rid of the white effect, but it won't really be that good to look at. Things will be way too dark and you can't pick out enemies. For that, I have a solution, though you will require an NVIDIA graphics card. Anyways, the first fix that works for absolutely everyone, hit options, head into your settings, then graphics, and inside of here, we'll be looking for brightness on the display tab. Simply click the brightness configurator here and turn down the setup brightness so that the center is barely visible. The background does flash here for some reason, but when you turn it down enough, everything will regain its color, at least for the most part. You can lower it even more and have the rest of the white slash washed out effect go away, but it still may not be up to your standards or your liking. How exactly do we fix this? Well, I can't show you the difference in this video. I'll have to recreate it in post, but we can change in video graphics settings to give the game more color, add brightness, change the contrast, digital vibrance, etc. Do note that if you're recording or streaming, these effects won't affect your stream at all. It only affects the video stream that goes from your graphics card straight to your display and nothing before that point. So you can mess around with your brightness, gamma, color, everything that you want as much as you want and your videos will remain intact. So in order to do this, all you need to do is hit start and type in NVIDIA where we'll be opening the NVIDIA control panel. You can also right click your desktop and choose NVIDIA control panel. Then inside of here, head across to adjust desktop color settings under the display tab and we'll be making sure that we click on the correct monitor that we're currently playing the game on. Then we're able to change some of the colors down here. You may have to tick a box or untick a box in order to get these customizable. All we need to do from here is drag the brightness around to make it brighter or darker. Then the contrast around to make it to increase or decrease the contrast. The higher this is, the darker the darks, the lighter the lights and Pushing this down has the exact opposite effect. Then the gamma is basically just brightness of all of the colors of all of the brightnesses. And finally, digital vibrance. Cranking this up, you'll immediately notice warmer colors. This is like a saturation effect, though it can definitely be overdone where skin tones are super orange. And if you push it down to zero, everything's black and white. Usually this will be placed around 60 or 70%. Your brightness raised a little bit, your contrast raised a little bit as well and your gamma you'll leave pretty much where it is. If you'd like to get rid of more of the white effect, you can lower the brightness, lower the contrast, and by doing both of these in tandem, you can make the game look quite a bit better. Anyways, moving these around to your settings is something you'll have to play around with, and eventually you'll end up with a super good looking game in the background. Once you're done, click apply, and we're pretty much done here. For a quick bonus tip, if you'd like much better colors out of your monitors in general, head across to the Adjust Video Color Settings tab over here and select our monitor. Then on the Advanced tab here, select Full Dynamic Range from the drop down if it's available. For some of your monitors, you'll notice that you don't have anything else but Limited listed there. You can also find this under Change Resolution, under Display, selecting your monitor, you have color settings down here as well. Select the highest color depth, select the highest output color depth, then full dynamic range if you have it available. And if you have anything better than RGB listed here, you can select that as well to match your display. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully your game looks a lot less washed out now and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.